in odd numbered years like uh, 2007, 2009, or 2011, Tokyo plays host to the International Robot Exhibition, also known as IREX, and that's the world's largest robot show. But in even numbered years like 2010, there's really no comparable robot shows or exhibitions. There are, however, a few smaller, less well attended robot shows, and although they lack the huge attendance and excitement of the major. Uh, announcements, they do serve to keep interest in robotics very much alive and well. Last week, the Robotech show was held at the Big Sight Convention Center in Tokyo. As you can see from the photos, attendance was pretty slim. It's primarily due to the unusually hot, humid summer weather and the fact that it's currently vacation season here. Most of the show attendees were people that were already involved in the robot industry and many that were actively exhibiting at the show. Many of the booths featured university research uh, projects, uh, regional business development organizations, and consulting design engineers that were looking to attract new projects. There were no new groundbreaking robot product introductions. Almost all the robots and robot-related products featured at the show have been around for several years, including old favorites like the cute little Chappet uh, robot that recognizes speech and engages in a kind of pseudo-conversation. Some projects, including the Ixis uh, Semaphore Frog uh, signaling navigation directions, showed a lot of creativity but don't seem positioned to fill a strong customer need. In contrast, the Raku Robo desktop factory system shows a lot of potential. By scaling down large factory automation technology to desktop size and achieving a major price reduction in the process, the company foresees a strong market demand for low-volume, high-variability product manufacturing and assembly. The Urena patient handling system developed by Japan Logic Machine for use in hospitals and senior centers also addresses a significant social problem. Unfortunately, its maximum load rating is only about 80 kilograms, and that's way below where we personally uh, tip the scales. We were lucky enough to spend some time one-on-one uh, -on -one with the Paro robot SEAL and have considerable video footage that demonstrates why Paro has been uh, so successful, so we'll be sharing that soon. V-Stone, who we understand has taken over the marketing of JR Robotics uh, products, was the only hobby robot company with a major presence at Robotech. We're always fascinated by their omnidirectional video camera setup, and they were showing a lot of their other uh, standard products. Uh, other hobby robot companies like uh, Kondo and Robotus and, and others just uh, weren't there at the uh, show. Hibot, which is based in Tokyo, is another interesting find at the show. Their business model involves developing complete robot systems for unique and often hazardous applications. And at the same time, they sell a wide range of sub-assemblies and circuits to other companies for use in building uh, robot applications. There are also several rugged wheeled robots designed for rescue robot use and remote inspection in difficult locations like underneath building foundations. Japan's emphasis on developing robots for medical and senior care continues. The most interesting development of Robotech was the Raputa robot arm, and this can be attached to wheelchairs, tables, and other surfaces, and is designed for use by patients to pick up bottles, cups, and other objects so that they can feed themselves and not have to depend on helpers. There were some advanced sensors on display, including force transducers that have been used in many of the high-performance Japanese humanoid robots. Uh, the performance specs are very, very good, but the price is uh, quite high, and the durability uh, for industrial-grade applications of constant use is still uh, marginal. The most surprising and most interesting robot developments for us personally at Robotech were the micro and uh, nano size robots uh, at that uh, end of the spectrum. We'll be posting some footage of microscopic ultrasound motors driving optical mirrors and tiny robot platforms. It's really amazing, so I look forward to that. One company doing impressive robot development at the nano level is Fanuc. 
Uh, their strategy seems right on target, and they're scaling down robot technology to extremely tiny size while improving overall performance. Uh, all in all, it was an interesting show, nowhere near as uh, fascinating or over-the-top as IREX, but uh, still worth the uh, time and effort to go to.